I'm blessed I got two teenage kids and um, they're a lot smarter than I am. And, <laughs> and we'll get into these conversations and they roll their eyes because I'm like, take a deep breath. Um, um, it's real easy to get right, to be right, to need to be right about things. Um, and they go, oh, dad. And I'm like, no, do it. And they go, what difference is it going to make? I say, here's the thing. When you react the way you do, that's not you. That's a bunch of neurons firing. There's a neural pathway that when you're in your fight or flight response is going to be purely focused on your survival. You're not interested in taking care of yourself or people that you care about or being a kind person. The who you really are when I'm speaking to my kids is you're a good person. You, you're, you're committed to taking care of yourself and each other. Um, why not give yourself a shot at it? Don't be run by your neurochemistry and your neurophysiology. Um, because it's an excuse I think a lot of people can hide out. Well, it's just me. Yes, it is just you. But you know what? How about you bring some intentionality? Um, again, my kids roll their eyes. I'm like, just for one month, the start of a day, take a few breaths, focus on what you're grateful for. Find intentionally once a day, be kind to someone, especially when they piss you off. So when there is the opportunity for road rage or you see someone who you're judging, maybe just take a breath and go, what does the world look like through their eyes? And I think it's these little practices to echo your point, Casper. Um, we got to start somewhere. Yeah. And, and it is truly in the simple acts. People think it has to be complicated. That is such a challenge to start to heal or start to, you know, overcome whether it's disease or old habits that they've had or things that, you know, they want to get rid of in their life. And I think when you make it a challenge, it becomes something that you put off, of course, something that uh, it's going to take so much time to change that. Oh, I'm overweight. It would take, you know, this and that. No, starts maybe with one deep breath. Starts with one little act of kindness to yourself in the morning for 10 seconds, even. That's how simple it could be. And it doesn't need to be expensive. People think, oh, it's so expensive. I need to join the gym now. You could take a walk anywhere, you know, up and down the stairs if you want. That's how simple things could be if we allow it. And I do think nature runs in that way too, in the universe. Love simplicity. I think we like to make things chaotic and we like to complicate them and then, of course, give excuses as to why certain things happen. But I don't know. In, in studying even of, you know, quantum physics, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's the simple things that really make the most sense and are the most logical and can help us the most. And so I, I, I do love everything that's, uh, that you're putting out there with the kindness, gratitude, because I believe that's the number one medicine. It's not, you know, what happens here is, is a secondary level. If you don't have that kindness and, and gratitude, all the procedures and IVs and different technologies, they don't do too much, really. They, they'll help. Mm -hmm. but they won't really guide you into long-term healing. So you got to embrace that as well. Now, could I, could I just echo on something? Absolutely. Casper. Okay, so um, all of this, and I think what you're pointing to, and it's something that you guys very much kept at the foreground when I was in New York, was living from a position of choice, mm -hmm. like how empowering that is. And I'm sitting here. I was looking forward to our conversation. And I went and found the quietest place I could find in Michigan and set it up. And we started this call and a construction crew moved in like 40 yards away. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt my body kicking up, like getting kind of stressed about it. Like, should we cancel it? Should we? I don't know what to do. But sitting, looking at you, listening to the conversation and engaging it. Isn't that what life is, though? Like stuff happens and we get to choose what happens next. Everything's a choice, isn't it? Everything. And we don't think it is, right? You're thinking, well, that's not a choice that that construction crew just showed up. Like what, where's the choice in that? The choice is in your response, correct? The choice is in me not even hearing that at all, not knowing it. It has no impact on this whatsoever. The choice is in your response to it. And I will say, I did not see any sort of <laughs> frustration in you. I did not see anything come out of that. So I think you made the smart choice <laughs> in ignoring <laughs> it and, and say, staying captivated in this, this riveting discussion here. So <laughs> thank you for that.